Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name is Landon, and here we play Jank. Today, I'm going to continue playing the Murder Crow deck. It's all revolving around Haunch Crow and Mur Crow. Haunch Crow with that awesome three energy attack for 120 damage, and you switch places with a Mur Crow on your bench. So it's a hit and run Pokemon, but the Mur Crow doesn't really get you extra benefits it's not like you're switching into a pokemon that doesn't give up a prize or can block certain attacks or anything you're really just switching to a pokemon to save your energy and that's not exactly a bad thing keeping your energy is quite helpful and then on top of that uh choice belt will put haunch crow at doing 150 which is a pretty good number Okay, so we start off with a Murkrow. We are going first, which is actually a little sad because we won't be able to take advantage of the flock attack most likely. There's still chances we might, but, you know, it. we need other basics on the field, so we might have to give up our first attack in order to do flock to get more Murkrow on the field. I don't love that position that will be put in, but it might be the only saving grace that we have for this deck currently, for this setup. Because um, if we evolve into Haunch Crow too early and we don't have anything on the bench, we're going to attack and then just instantly get knocked out and lose. So, let's see. Oh, okay. So these people... This person is playing uh, what appears to be unknown jank, but might not be. So I confused the Cresselia because they're weak to dark. So getting a first attack with Haunch Crow may not be too bad. Uh, unknown V Star would need two heads in order to KO Haunch Crow. And we can possibly prevent the Cresselia from accelerating energy. Now, I find it strange that they discarded so much energy. Okay, so it's not like Unknown Jank. Confused Tails, Tails, Tails. Oh, they hit heads. They're going to accelerate some stuff here. What can that do? 190. Okay. So where are they putting the damage? Where are they putting the energy? One there. One there. And one there. So, 190, next turn. Yikes. So we're going to play down Manaphy and Escape Rope out of there. They're probably going to bring up the Gramble, which I understand why they would. And we will play Bird Keeper. Now, Gramble is not weak to dark. That part hurts. But we are going to play the Level Ball. We're going to grab a Bidoof. Because this Evolution Incense next turn is going to get us what we want. And we are going to flock. Yes. Two more Murkrows out. Okay. So, this Murkrow is going to go down, which is too bad. Gramble. Doing 190. Cape of Toughness. Okay, so we're still... It's... 260, no matter what, we were looking at a two-hit KO. I'm going to promote the Bidoof, just because I gotta see what I get. I gotta see it. Um, so, Evolution Incense for a Barrel Done. The Barrel can come down. Air Bloom can come down. Twin Energy can come down. I can play everything. Haunch Crow. I will Ordinary Rod. Um, but I'm only going to grab the Murkrow. I'm going to leave the Dark Energy because I'm hoping I can hit a Dark Patch this turn. Level Ball for the Murkrow. Alright, I can play down Murkrow. And Dark Patch, Dark Patch, Dark Patch. We got a Dark Patch! Yes! Dark Patch. Ooh, and we hit a Choice Belt. Nice. We are sitting pretty. Oh, so very pretty. Honchcrow doing the 150. 
switching into the Murkrow, this Gramble has 80 health left. It can do the Bull Dash again, and then I'll get the KO next turn. Uh, ooh, how much health does that? 50. Oh, man, that Cape of Toughness is actually a pretty big deal. No! The boss's orders up the Haunch Crow, getting the KO this turn on our attacker. So we can play a Twin Energy on a Murkrow. We can play the Evolution Incense for a Haunch Crow, evolve that Murkrow, and again, dig for a Dark Patch. That's our goal here right now. Luckily, we can put per barrel into the active. Oh, it's Chomp they're doing. Nice. Good move. Good move. Yellhorn comes down. Okay, that's certainly interesting. I can either I'll get the KO, and this was pointless, or I miss the KO, and then... They either retreat into Cresselia and need an energy to do 120, or they just risk it. We got the Dark Patch. We got the KO. Beautiful. And we got another Murkrow. The only sad part here for me is um, we still haven't gotten a Marnie. We need, Amarni, we need to refresh our hand. We really do. Now we've played, what, one bird keeper? Select. We got energy. Energy is starting to clog up our hand right now, so that's not exactly a great thing. You know, we've played one bird keeper, so we really need to find Amarni. Um, the issue with the hand currently is the fact that we can't draw in this situation. Um, next turn, we'll play the escape rope. We'll play a twin energy onto a haunch crow if this murkrow in the active survives, which it looks like it might actually. Nope, they're going to retreat into Blissey, and Blissey will do 60. That's the play that I see right now. We will escape rope, though, I think, which will put the Blissey on the bench bring up like Cresselia or Unknown V, probably Cresselia, and we will take the KO off of Cresselia. So, let's see. Great ball. Do they get anything? They get a card. It went by too fast. It didn't load. Mawile. Mawile. Interesting. Flip a coin, discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Yikes. They leave the Cresselia in... The active, not KOing the Murkrow. That's interesting. So let's do that. Escape rope. Who are they going to put up? That's my big question. Who are they going to put up? I would bet the Blissey, but you never know. I'm going to get to draw one card. One card off of this barrel. I... Ooh, the Unknown V, really? Oh, man. This is interesting. Yellhorn. I should have put the Barbaro. Well, no, I'm getting the KO, so putting the Barbaro in the active wouldn't have done much. I will put the Damaged Murkrow in the active. Grab two more prizes. So we only, we only need two more KOs. That's pretty good. We pull a Darkness Energy... Um, really hoping we'll be able to get another Haunch Crow going here. Because if they, they're going to KO the active Murkrow or the benched Haunch Crow. My money is on the active Murkrow, though. So I'll put up the barrel. I can get a one-hit KO on Cresselia, so even playing Yellhorn there isn't great, and I don't think playing it will get us to draw cards with the barrel. So that's a little difficult to deal with right now. But let's see. Escape rope. Oh, I can force them to put one of those up. And then... Let's do this. Escape rope. They'll have to put up probably the blissey. Yep, they put up the Blissey. We'll put up Murkrow. 
I will attach a darkness energy and, re and first I'll yell horn. Now that's going to force them to attach to the Blissey. But I will retreat with the one darkness energy. Done. Into the Murkrow. And I will attack with this Haunch Crow. Dealing 120. Not bad. Switch to the Murkrow. We might lose this twin energy, but that's better than losing it all, you know? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Five cards in hand. They KO this Murkrow. We draw one for turn. Even if they bosses orders the Haunch Crow and KO the Haunch Crow, um, we have the Darkness Energy to play down. We'll draw one for turn. Yep, so they remove the status condition with Blissey's ability, which is exactly what I expected them to do. Hopefully they don't have any healing. They don't have any healing. Ooh. So, um, really badly, we need a choice belt. If we get a choice belt this turn, we can win. So, the barrel's going to go into the active. What do we have? What do we have? Yellhorn again. Not what I want to see, really. Play that down. Industrious incisors. Bird keeper. Bird keeper for three. Please, please, please. Choice belt. Yes. Oh, yes. Good game. That does get the KO, right? I'm not missing anything. Yes. Two prizes, last two prizes. There we go. Oh boy, came down to the wire there. This is the jinkiest deck I think I've had on the channel, and I love it when it works. It doesn't always work, I mean, but I love it when it does. You can tell from my ranking that it doesn't always work. I've been testing so many different decks recently. Uh, my rank's just been dropping, but... I found a fun deck that I really enjoy playing, so this is awesome. Uh, thank you so much for uh, coming, joining me on this. Uh, ooh, level 12. What do I get? Some gems and some coins. Cool. I'll collect them. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on this video. It's a little shorter, but not by much, than uh, videos have been in the past. But, man, that was... That... It's so weird. We started off okay, not great, and it just snowballed into a win for us. Those escape ropes were so clutch, so clutch. And then that choice belt coming in off the bird keeper was amazing. The industrial sizer for what, one, and we get a bird keeper, and then we bird keeper for three more, so we drew four cards in that turn. Oh, I could talk about this for a while but i won't bore you guys thank you so much for joining me watching this if you enjoyed it please put a like and subscribe uh also if you got any tips for anyone that might play this deck in the future put them down in the comments um by the time you guys see this i'll be on to a different deck but i always love to see what other people do with the deck what other ideas people have with this deck with other decks i play so go ahead and put those in the comments and you know until next time keep playing jank